All right, what's going on YouTube? Quad Clutch 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. This one is one I actually had planned on doing a little bit sooner uh, as I got some mosaic basketball in. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't going to find any in Columbus. It basically sells out the day you get it. Um, so I found someone that I knew on, uh, on Instagram that had found... Uh, a huge stash of it, uh, asked if he wanted to sell it all, and he did, and I bought it, um, paid, so this isn't, uh, I've got a decent amount of it, because I obviously own a card store, so I wanted to have some available for sale at some point, um, but I also know that I wanted to rip some of it, because I've been a big fan of the set so far, um, and this was a way to get it, so I paid uh, pretty close to market rate on almost everything I bought. I bought from two different people a decent amount of it. Um, but I also, I've watched a bunch of product review videos so far, and I've seen a lot of mixed reactions. Like, uh, But the one thing I will say, and I'm just, this is just strictly my opinion, um, but I will tell those that decide to watch this, I think Mosaic Basketball will be a big, big player this year uh, for a couple different reasons. One, I think the Genesis Refractor is, is, a, is a big deal. Um, there hasn't been a, a real big chase card per se in prism basketball, um, right? Like you've got, you know, white sparkles, those typically come in the white sparkle packs. Like you don't have like a galactic type insert in prism basketball. That's where I think the Genesis refractor can be so big. Um, and I also really like the USA basketball set. I think that is, is, is super, super underappreciated. Um, and I think that's going to be one that's going to be a big player long-term, um, I just, USA basketball seems to do pretty well anytime that they come up. I mean, a lot of that stuff is from the 90s dream team type, um, the 90s dream team team, um, dream team team, hmm, sounds repetitive. Um, but anyways, figured I would give it a shot here. So what I'm going to do is I, these are almost about the same price. I think the blasters are a little bit, more exp a little bit more expensive than hangers. Um, and two of these are probably comparable with this. Um, so not exactly 100% even across the board, but a good idea of which one is the better rip. Um, I'm going to do this a couple times, most likely. We're going to do two hanger packs, one hanger box, and one uh, blaster box. And we'll see which one is uh, the best after a couple times. Um, so I would, all I would ask you to do is watch the video, pick and then I'll rip open each one individually, right? These will count as one break. This is one break, and this is one break. And you comment down below, is the cello packs the best, the hanger box the best, or the blaster box the best? So blaster, hanger box, or cello packs, right? So we'll start this way and go this way, and we'll do the blaster at the end. Uh, kind of set those out there. So... <clears throat> obviously looking for Zion and Morant, but being a LeBron guy, that is probably who I would, if I'm going to keep it, I would honestly probably want LeBron the most. So I guess we'll see. All right. So again, in these, you're looking for a three card pink camo set, um, a, or three card bonus pink prism pack. And then you're going to get what? Three packs in there. Uh, it's like two packs, maybe. Yeah. Just two packs. All right, so it's more like Prison Basketball. So Prison Basketball had two packs in the hangers plus a, uh, a bonus pack. Um, in Optic, you got three packs plus a bonus, uh, like Blue Velocity pack. So Prism Hangers only had two with the red, white, and blue pack. Optic had three with uh, the Blue Velocity pack. And then Prism Mosaic looks like it has two with the pink camo pack. So something to consider that you're going to get one less pack in these versus Optic. All right, so our first base card here. Uh, Beverly, and you've got a DeJounte Murray, Dario Saric, Drew Holiday, and it looks like we have a Jam Masters, which is one of the inserts I think will do well. Yep, and it's a mosaic. Holy cow. Zach Levine. Okay, it's a green mosaic. And a Zion first pack. There we go. What a start. What a start. Zion Williamson, pack number one. And a very cool, one of my favorite inserts in the entire set. How about a Jam Masters green Zach Levine? Super cool. I think this set will do really well long term. I definitely think it has a 90s type vibe to it, that NBA Jam type look. Um, I think that this will do pretty well. 
The silver ones, the, the silver mosaics are going to be the ones I think are going to do the best. So they'll look just like this, this with the same pattern, the mosaic look, uh, except this won't be green. It would be like a silver. Um, I think those will do the best because you got a base, you have a green mosaic, and then you're going to have uh, the silver mosaic. I don't believe there's a silver short print itself, but what a start. Zion and Zach Levine. I mean, not sure you could ask for a better start than that. All right, a lot more to break. So let's see what we got. Jabari, Devontae Graham, T. Ferg. Oh, it's purple, and it's a Laker. Or is that Hall of Fame? I think it's a Hall of Fame logo. John Stockton. John Stockton, Hall of Fame green, and a Jam Masters Spud Webb. So John Stockton, I mean, that just look how clean that looks. I think I'm just a, I'm just a big fan of that. Jam Masters and Darius Garland NBA debut. So definitely a uh, solid pack there. I'm going to go ahead and throw these and at least get these in soft sleeves. I think those are great. I will likely end up completing this set. I think it's just kind of cool. Not sure if I'll do the silver set, the silver mosaic set or what, but I think that's a cool set. All right, here's our pink camo. If I could get it open. Okay. All right, our first card is... Oh, wrong Laker. Dude, if that was been LeBron. Sweet. Kuzma. Taj Gibson. Hall of Famer. Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. I'm cool with that. So Shaq Hall of Fame pink. All right. Definitely a good start, though. I mean, the first pack, obviously the best, right? Can't really complain with that. So let's finish up the cello packs as our first break. Let's see how we did overall on cello packs. All right. Pack one. Markel Fultz. Kemba, George Hill, Trey. It's kind of a cool card. I, I do like that. Then Jam Masters, another Zach Levine, okay. Does that mean Zion's behind it again? No, definitely not Zion. You're not Zion. Dylan Windler, rookie. All right. Jam Masters, Levine. And then... All right, got another insert and another green and then another rookie. Right, let's see what we got. Bruce Brown, CJ, Enos Cantor, Matisse Thibel, green. Look at that with the old school Sixers. Very cool. Giannis, will to win. Very nice. Very cool. And a Shaq Hall of Fame. Okay, definitely another solid pack there. We'll take Matisse Thibault all day. Kid's going to be a heck of a defensive player in the league. I like him a lot, actually. And then Giannis, obviously can't go wrong with reigning MVP and what would have probably been a back-to-back -back MVP. All right. First card, Tarian Prince, pink camo. Second card, Isaiah Thomas. Third, Zion Williamson. There we go. What a break. Wow. Holy cow, man. Wow. I didn't have anywhere near this kind of luck in anywhere in all of the Prism basketball. Prism Mosaic starting off strong. Obviously, rookie debut, right? It's an NBA debut, similar to like, uh, I think the whole concept here is very similar to like Topps, uh, with the, uh, like, update and that kind of stuff where you have the rookie debuts and uh, stuff like that. I think that's kind of what that is, like a subset rookie, so obviously not going to do nearly as well as if it would have been this pink, right? They're definitely going to be different. This one's going to be more valuable as it's a base rookie. This is an insert. Um, still, I'm not going to complain if we pulled a Zion pink. Regardless of what insert it is, it's still Zion, and it's still what everyone's looking for. So that is the start. Now, I... I guess I didn't have a knife out. I was like, where did my knife go? But I didn't have a knife. All right. So let's go to the hanger box. Now, if you watched my, my content before, is that not ribbon? I guess I just ribbon on the top. 
Uh, if you watch my content before with Prison Basketball, I uh, I didn't find any hanger boxes. I could never find them. That was the one thing I never ended up having. Dude, I'm not, I'm not playing with this. <laughs> that uh, that was the one thing I could never find. Um, so this is actually the first hanger box I would have ripped all year of any product. Um, I just never was able to find any. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. Uh, you get four reactive oranges per box, and I actually am a big fan of that design. But I know you can like find the Genesis in this, and I think the blaster boxes. I think. All right, so starting off with Booker and Dr. J on the back. Cool. So let's see what's inside. Hopefully more Zion or LeBron. All right, so that's what it's going to look like right there. So looks like you got some inserts, rookies, that kind of stuff in the back, and most likely a stack of uh, 10 base cards to start. So let's see what we got. D-Book, Brogdon, CP3, Alfred Payton, Marcus Saul, Holiday, Simons, Rudy Gobert, and Clay. Then we have our first silver right behind this, true silver, Blake Griffin. Okay, so obviously I've heard that these are pretty tough to pull. So Blake Griffin. Then our first orange. Taco Fall. I'm okay with that. I think that would do really well. Taco Fall. Obviously a popular rookie. Allen Iverson, Hall of Fame. Very nice. Definitely like that. Good looking orange reactive there. Jalen Noel. Okay, so two rookies and an insert. That's definitely okay. I'm okay with that. And then one more is also a rookie. Ty Jerome. Okay, less than ideal with the Suns. But still, won't complain if you pull three rookies and an insert. That's that's super cool. And you got a Jam Masters, Dominique. We didn't pull a Dominique earlier, did we? We pulled Spud Webb, right? Yeah, Spud Webb. Okay, so a different one. All right, you got Dominique and then AD, Will to Win. Okay, really cool. Nice little insert parallel there. Then you've got a rookie of Grant Williams, Cam Johnson, Isaiah Roby, and then Dr. J Hall of Fame. Okay. I do like that you get the silvers in this, and I'm a big fan of the most, the, the, the pink reactive, or the green react, uh, not green, orange. Third, third time's a charm. Uh, I like that. Um, it doesn't really, the one thing I will say, especially for the price, since these are, you know, sorry, wrong side on those. Since these are pretty expensive, uh, they're pretty close to the blaster box, in, blaster box in price. I think the big thing is, 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 at least in the blaster box, you get to like actually rip packs. Like, right, you get to open different packs, see what's inside pack one or two, or there's like eight packs or whatever. Um, in this, it's just it's one pack and you're done. Um, so it's just kind of a, a, a quick hit in terms of the pack. I would rather rip multiple. So that's the only thing I would say. Um, again, I'm looking if, when you comment below which one you think is the best. I'm looking for like which one you think uh, you would want to rip, right? So like based on what I hit, which one would you be like? Yeah, I would. About if you know they all cost the same amount of money, I would prefer to rip A instead of B. Oh boy, check this out. If you watch my video with the Donruss box and we pulled the Kobe auto, 22 is my lucky number. Not saying it'll be lucky today, but if I ever saw 22, I would rip it. And I actually didn't see it because it was covered up by the sticker. So 22 is my lucky number. You always look at the last two numbers on the box. Never know. Maybe my lucky day meant pulling a Zion rookie and a Zion uh, pink. I already feel like that's been pretty lucky enough for this break. So at this point, I'm loving it already. Anything at this point is strictly a bonus. All right. First one, we got a green, nice. Ooh, and it's like red. Cavaliers, I think it's Windler. Yep. Dang, Dylan Windler. I do like those green cards, those look sharp. Mosaic parallel is nice. And then a Kareem Hall of Fame. The reason I was looking so ahead of, of our, uh, I was ahead of that is it had the Cavs maroon color. And I know LeBron has like an MVP insert in there. And I was like, ooh, that would be a really cool insert to pull. All right, so pack two. PG-13. And then Ben Simmons, give and go. Admiral Schofield. Schofield, Schofield. Whatever you prefer. All 
All right, Devonta Graham, Lonzo Ball, Carl Anthony Towns, and Kobe White. Carl Anthony Towns. Do you like those green? And if you're new here and you have not already subscribed and would not mind clicking the subscribe button down below, I would certainly, certainly appreciate it. All right, Peck was his four. Bagley, Tucker, got game, Steph Curry. All right. And then Terrence Mann, Florida State rookie. All right, so we're halfway there. We got four packs remaining. Ooh, got a silver mosaic. Okay. This will be our first one pulled. Morris, Millsap, Jokic. Okay. The Hall of Fame Oscar Robertson. Very nice. So silver mosaic. Definitely got a little bit of curvature to it. But overall, really nice. Three more. So who's the best rookie we've pulled so far? Kobe White in this box. Best parallels, probably the Jokic. Let's see if we can top that. All right. Draymond, Aiton, Dennis Rodman, old school. <laughs> I like the little mosaic look in the back. That's kind of cool. And then Kyle Guy. There are a couple people that have been haunted by Kyle Guy this year in breaks. My guy that always haunted me was Ty Jerome. It was never Kyle Guy. I'm trying to open it where you can't see the card in the back. It just kind of ruins the fun, considering that's either a rookie or an insert. Another green. Shaq and Ja Morant. NBA debut. Good pack. Definitely a good pack. A lot of Shaq stuff. I think we pulled the pink one of this and another insert of that. Right? Didn't we pull that? Yeah. So pink and green Shaq. And I thought we pulled the base insert, but it might be over here. Thought we pulled another Shaq. The un the yeah, right there. We did. <laughs> So John ja Morant, again, goes back to the rookie debut. Still, I'll take John ja Morant, so that'll work. Last pack, see if we have any last pack mojo. Oh, we got a silver. I think it's this way. Doesn't appear to be a rookie, so we'll see. Danilo and Derek White. Tobias Harris, okay. And then Cody Martin. So we did end up with a silver in that one and a uh, John Morant. So overall, pretty cool. Still happy to get another silver. One top loader shy, I think, so I won't sleeve the Blake Griffin, but those are probably two of my favorite hits. The silvers, I think those are going to be tough. All right, so just a little recap here of what we got. All right, Jokic, Taco. AI, Noel, Jerome, BG, Giannis, Thibel, Levine, Shaq, Shaq, Spud Webb, Stockton. Those five. Overall, pretty good. I feel I feel good about that. Um, like I said, I, I like the look of the cards this year. I think they've got an interesting design to them. You know, and what's crazy is I talked about in the start of the video about the USA cards. We just ripped two, two cellos, a blaster box, and a hanger box and did not pull one USA basketball card. Um, so I think it's going to take a little bit more to get those. And I think that's going to obviously drive the demand for those uh, up, up a little higher. So if you enjoyed the video, I do want to say, uh, and if you haven't already liked the video or subscribed, uh, feel free to also drop a comment down below. I've got some more of this. Do you want to continue this? See if we do this a couple times. Uh, see how uh, our luck continues. See if it changes. Um, in terms of blaster box, cello box, or, you know, whatever the answer might be for the favorite one. So, uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what one you thought won. If you're going <clears> to, <throat> if you're going to rip, do you want two cellos, a hanger box or a blaster box? I would say that for this one, I would go with the cello packs. You had two less packs than the blaster box, but I thought the pink camo packs being guaranteed make that a little bit more interesting. So I would say cello packs for this video, but you drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.